Hello! Welcome back. I have an awful headache, so take that as you will during this video and prob probably another one after this. But either way, I wanted to play. Before we get started though, I want to point a few things out. I don't think you can see my mouse cursor, if you can. Hello, mouse cursor. But uh, people were mentioning that they didn't have mouse controls. And I do have mouse controls, I can even run around and... Uh, like, an old, like, MMO point-to-move kind of system. It's a bit weird. Not that the controls are good, mind you. The, uh, particularly the camera movement is really weird with the mouse, but they are there. Another thing is that it has the ability to fast-forward, a la, um, FF12 International, I believe, is the other game, at least that I'm aware of, that had this ability. You can go whatever speed this is, I don't have any idea, and you can also go a little bit faster. So you can zoom around at the speed of light, which, curiously, it doesn't seem to affect the animation. Just the speed at which you travel, so, I don't know, it's probably useful. Uh, also, someone by the name of Ethereum, or something like that, if I recall correctly, left a whole bunch of information in comments. Uh, some of which I have figured out since, or uh, prior to reading that, but other stuff is also useful, so I appreciate that. And the golden names that were in, I believe, the last video means they do bonus damage, I think is what it is. Wow, the texture on that door is awful. It means they do bonus damage for that mission, and it seems to vary depending on the mission, apparently, or their level, or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but either way, it's a thing. The uh, people that show up in your missions, like the random like ghost players and stuff like that, they're not actual people, as far as I'm aware. Fulfill certain edition, do 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 do. You may even see your very own CO. You do that. They give you SPP, and apparently you can trade SPP in for uh, weapons and stuff. Very good weapons, apparently. So that can save you some gil. What is this guy? To skip ahead to mission day. I do not wish to do that. Mission level 13. No, I'm not ready. Smell that there's someone here. Is it this guy that you can buy stuff for SPP with? Yeah, there we go. Questing back up. Boost your SP rank. Earning a higher SP rank. Do to do. Fair enough. Have you earned SPP? I have. What can I buy? What is that? Why is it so expensive? Magic by eight. Eh. I mean, the magic by four one is only 200. Why is the magic by eight one 2,000? It seems silly. If unlocked a javelin and a hunter's bow, increases attack by eight. I mean, we could buy those. So we're playing on Cadet, that would probably make it really easy. I'm not going to buy anything yet. We're just going to keep that in mind. I also have no idea how to... I could use AP outside of that one screen, so... Unfortunately, I guess we're going to have to do that when the time comes. and I'll just probably edit it out or something. I know you can play the missions. Alright. I don't need to talk to you. I did replay, you could probably tell already, because 14,000 gil and some additional levels and stuff. I did replay that mission a couple of times. I replayed it also on the higher difficulty. And it is more difficult. Who would have guessed? I know, but it is more difficult. What were we doing? I think uh, I was stopping because I was afraid the power was going to go out. The power did go out, by the way. I remember that much. Went out like two minutes after I stopped. But I don't recall exactly what we're doing, because we have four hours left till the mission. Ooh, the Moogle has a marker on him. 
basically nobody here. Either way, what about you? What do you want? The more classes you take, the stronger every Koopa will become. Um, there's two classes. I guess we'll take them. Principles of Combat. This class is designed for those completely unfamiliar with combat. Students do to do. Practice comprehensive decision making skills. I hope this isn't like an actual lecture. We get a Mega Ether. I skipped some dialogue. I don't. There's no voice acting? This seems like a scene that should be voice acted. Also, it's appearing to go very quickly. Two thousand XP. Did that level me out of curiosity? It did level me. I wonder if that applies to everybody. We may as well take the other lecture. Introduction to Defense Magic. Work toward the mastery of even the most difficult defensive incantations. This is none of this is actually true for me, because it's apparently just a very short scene where they talk about food, apparently, in this instance. I like his policy. Good job, game. Hup. Hup. Defense magic increased by two. Also, sirens increased by one. I guess we may as well talk to him since there's nothing else we can do except do the mission at this point. Hello. Imperial Vermin. Hmm. The following regional, regional occupation campaign is optional. Um, I would may as well join. I don't see why not. Through the conscri conscription and deployment of the Agato Cadets, the Dominion successfully liberates McTi. Okay, I guess. Through the main gate, Roger Podger. Don't shout at me when I run by. I don't know what you're saying. It doesn't count. I love how when the siren is playing, people are just running around everywhere. Also, it's a very bizarre way of running this place. I'm gonna be honest. Normally, you know, I, I realize this is technically a military institution, but normally, I suppose you don't really play sirens like that unless you're being air raided. So, gun battle. Everyone likes a good gun battle. I hope anyway. See? I told you everyone likes a good gun battle. I don't need to save because we didn't really do anything. Alright, where are we going? Um... I guess we just had to walk slightly out. It looks like everyone may have gotten that XP from that Moogle thing. Um, hmm. I want to mix up who I'm playing as. If I played as 8, what does he have? He has Brass Knuckles. I've not played as 8. Let's put 8 up there in the first. Actually, this is... This is the order that people fill in, so it doesn't actually matter the way I'm doing this like that. But whatever, that's the order that they fill in when people are defeated. I don't need to change equipment, I want to use AP. How do I do AP? I've already forgotten. 
How did AP? No. Select active members. Sure, this is the part where I pick who I want to play as first, which apparently is just one person. Um, well, if it's just one person, do I really want to play as eight? He's got Swiftwind stance. Do I want to play as someone a slightly higher level? Like Trey! Or someone who can cure. Hmm. For giggles, let's take... Reasons mostly unbeknownst to me. Let's take six. Why not? I don't know any of these characters or which ones I would prefer, so what's going on here? That's me. That's yes. our town. I don't know what's going on here. Can you stop shouting Koopo at me? Okay. Are we really infamous? Are we really red demons? What in the heck is going on here is a good question. Okay. I got that. I wish you would uh, do this a little bit faster. For the Dominion! I guess. I still don't know what exactly I'm doing, but that's happening, so I'll just run in that direction. Failure condition, lose that. This makes sense. Show the tutorial for this mission? I thought that's what we just watched. That's sure. Triggering the lose, you result in game over. I figured that much. Not that stupid. Occupy Domain 1. Will do, Captain. To swap views and theater map. I actually kind of like that view better. So what in the heck is a status indicator and a spark unit? How do I deploy the spark unit? And you don't have any status. Okay. I don't appear to be able to do anything there. What if I just like follow along with the blaze unit? Can I help out? Use magical and physical attacks to defeat the enemy. How do I do that? Do I just run into them? No, they're shooting me. Oh, right, I have to pull my weapon out. I forgot about that. Have damage from enemy counterattacks by striking from the rear. Ow. Yeah, dang it. I should really just use Thunder SH SHG, apparently. Which stands for shotgun. We've already been over this, but. I'm slightly confused about what's going on here. Shield icon indicates a base is strengthening its defenses and rallying its troops. Direct allied troops to attack. Do do do. Oh, so I can't attack it? Okay, so I can't do anything once they're defensive. As it explains here. Oh man, look at these blaze units coming up. So basically, I just kind of have to wait around. It looks like there's little Healy pads over there. It looks like you can only have four units attacking the town. Alright. We've failed! Portrait Dominion or Stronghold. A domain or Stronghold. To recover MP. Okay, so you just idle near it. Whoa! Destroy the auto turret. Is that domain. Gonna send troops out? This is a big old tutorial, so. 
exceptional rewards for completion. Okay. I'm just gonna hit it till it dies. That seems reasonable. There we go. Easy peasy. You now command domain one. Press A while near camps with the do to do. Oh, so I have to actually be near the camps to command them. I like it's faster just to do this. Okay. So a blaze unit and a spark unit. We've already got blaze units going south, so let's send some spark units that way. So you can only send one, it looks like. Oh no, they've already got... No, I did it backwards. Blaze unit that way. Alright. Now let's go help them out, even though they'll probably manage this on their own, considering there's two versus one. Do... Dealing enough damage to their respective strongholds using your allied troops. Okay. I guess we'll just kind of wait until they deal with that. We may as well hang out around here. Oh man, look at the... Regen on that shield, good lord. Oh, you can have way more than four units. Alright. I'm expecting another special mission as well, I'm around here. Complete special do do Invade the town? Yeah, sure. Why the heck not? Uh, I'm gonna refuse SP support for now. And it appears to have dumped random people in here. Hello! Ow, that was a good start. Oh good, we've got the buff person with us. I don't like how she attacks, by the way. You've probably noticed that, but she's a little weird. I guess if I lock on, it's a little bit better. So which, where is the commander? Are we just gonna run through town until we find the commander? Is that what's going on? This is kinda neat. I don't know how much it adds to the game, but it's, oh hello, it's kinda neat. You know, I actually kind of like Six. She's agile. When you're not locked on, it's near impossible to actually hit things, but... Hey. Five Phantoma. Well, there's a couple. Oh, hello. Are you just gonna spawn right here? Because they're, they're just gonna spawn right here. Alright, well... And she's gonna play her flute. Hello. That buffs our attack, I believe. It sounds awful, but it just buffs our attack. Mission accomplished. You can stop playing your flute now. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Easy peasy. This is a big tutorial, though, to be fair. You now control Akvi. This is ours, so... Class 10th Cadets led by Azuma specialize in lightning. Um, I guess we may as well get Domain 2. That's probably our objective next anyway. So we may as well send them to Domain 2, I suppose. Is it just the one unit? I suppose so. Press Y plus B. I should have sent that Azuma unit at Corsi, actually. Oh well. We have bases to capture and places to be. That's a warrior unit. Alright, so those guys are fighting that. We have to go deal with these warrior units, apparently, because they're going to wreck us. Although, if they were sending... 
the units specializing in lightning magic, that would probably help. Oh, we're attacking Corsi now. Oh man, so many blaze units. Well, now we may as well just have straight blaze units everywhere. Charge in and take over. Okay. I was. Is there some sort of advantage? To assaulting the town instead of just letting the AI maul it to death. I don't want your backup. Leave me alone, game. Hello! Oh, I missed. That made me slightly sad. Probably shouldn't gather Phantoma in the middle of combat, but you know. Got places to be, Phantoma to gather. I should probably cast, whoops, Dark Nebula and figure out what that does at some point here. I really like the fast characters. Like, even when she has her weapon out, she's really fast. Okay, so that's just a... Aces now, level 12. It's just a uh, projectile that she can shoot. Like so. To help with the ranged enemies, like that guy. Oh, she can't shoot it off there. You, however, if I figure out how to target properly. Wow, why does that guy have like no health? Whatever. The shock troopers, on the other hand, I actually have a fair amount of health. I can't believe that missed. Now I'm sad. Alright, well he's just gonna block everything known to man, apparently. Let's go back to s Oh, we can't leave until we kill him. God dang it. Is, is there ever gonna be a point where I'm allowed to kill you, good sir? Oh, come on. You know what? Oh, we have an open slot. Did she die? Because she was there. There we go. We did have someone else in the party, right? It wasn't just me and Six. Ace and Six, I suppose. Let's get rid of his reinforcements before we bother dealing with too much else. Hello. Incoming. I'm going to decline that. Four reasons. Hello. You guys are just going to keep respawning, aren't you? And the camera is going to keep freaking out, too. So we may as well help over here, because... Dude Bro Ace is never going to manage to accomplish anything. We have Thunder. We should probably use that. Hello. Con Ow. I didn't tell you to dodge into his flame attack game. Now. God dang it. Can you still get bonus damage without being locked on? I don't think you can, because I think it's only when the indicator pops up that you'll actually get bonus damage. Not that we're getting a lot of damage to begin with with this guy. Also, I've been told how to heal, although Ace is now dead. How to heal party members, specifically, not just heal in general. I already knew how to do that. Probably could have just let him go, but... Alright, you. Give me your crap. Fortified ration. I did let two people die. Because I wasn't paying attention and I was the healer, which is why... I should never be allowed to be the healer, because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh man, those two casualties kept me from getting an S rank. Should have paid more attention. War Scythe now available. And we got a Mega Elixir. Hooray, we may as well save. Why the heck not? In fact, I'll make a new save and split the video. We have a lot of guild now.